Hello guys, I hope you are fine and uh, be in the uh, learning mode. Okay, so this will uh, uh, going to be the introductory video of Docker and the topic which is Docker is hitting the market and uh, is also popular in the DevOps field. So let's begin. The main question is what is Docker? Um, this is the story. This long story, but uh, I'll try to uh, make it short to explain you, right? So the story is, uh, in the past old big days, when the businesses wants the uh, new application, so they have to buy a new server um, for the app, for the new app. So initially, they don't know the requirement of the server. Uh, so they buy, uh, so some businesses uh, will buy a huge server, so some um, buy a cheap or middle class server. Uh, so uh, most of the time, this uh, that type of servers won't work, won't uh, great work for the apps. So this the way uh, this is the totally best trap for capitalists of the businesses. So to resolve this issue, what comes a virtual machine technology comes to resolve this issue by using the virtual machines and a system. You can run multiple applications on. Uh, on your uh, single server, on your single server, you can run multiple applications by using the virtual machine. Uh, if you want to use, otherwise, uh, you can use the each server for each app. Otherwise, you have the virtual machine technology. But uh, there is also a demerit of um, demerits of using virtual machine. The first disadvantage of using the virtual machine is that. Um, that uh, each virtual machine requires its own OS, and each OS consumes some amount of uh, uh, CPU, storage, and RAM, and internet, and etc. etc. resources. So it means each virtual machine requires its own OS, and OS uh, wants uh, um, CPU and etc. etc. So suppose if you have ten virtual machines running in your system, your system will go, 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 go super down. Maybe it will hang. It depends on your specs of the system. So this is not a good approach to use the virtual machine in the current time and uh, also in the future. So what? What's the solution? The solution is, and that technology come. This is also needed and also running on the time and maybe for, uh, one on the future. Maybe, but it's awesome. The technology is containerization technology. Uh, this technology gives us uh, capability to run, also gives us capability to run multiple applications on a single server, but each container doesn't require its own OS, like VMs do. Each container don't require its own OS. Suppose if you have 10 containers running on your system, they don't require 10 OS. The 10 containers use the shared OS from your host. Host is your main machine. On which the containers exist and working, they all use that OS, host OS, okay, and they use the same resources, so CPU, RAM, storage, etc., etc. But they don't require the each OS, right? So this is awesome, and uh, also an advantage of using the containerization technology is that it gives us uh, awesome portability to move our containers onto the cloud and etc. Et places, right? Okay. So, how to access set technology and etc. Okay, so in the past time, not uh, in the too much old time, the Google have access to this technology, containerization technology. Uh, so, after a time, after a few time, the Google will work with Linux to build the containerization technology in the Linux, in the Linux dashboards, in the Linux platforms. So, uh, after working a uh, lot and hard, uh, then continuation technology was came in Linux, not in Windows. And the, uh, everyone knows the user of Windows are too much greater than Linux. So after that, Microsoft also worked very hard to enable the continuation technology in the Windows in the Windows, uh, but. Uh, the catalyst technology is only available in the Windows 10 some editions, not at all editions, but it uh, enables 
uh, in some editions it uh, exists continuation technology so how to assist them everyone um, have an ability to use and handle this technology continuation technology after uh, they came okay uh, to enable all the people to use this technology what comes docker docker was came docker was came to allow everyone to have access the continuous technology on their hands docker is the software which we will use to use the continuous technology to do a lot of things right so why to use docker as i said here we use the continuation technology to run multiple applications on a single server. So to access the technology, we have to use the Docker, which is simply easy, not too much uh, hard. It uh, is quite easy and normal. Okay, but Docker is awesome. I hope you learn what I said. And finally, next steps. What do you have to do now? To more proceed. Uh, you have to uh, follow the next video uh, according to your OS. If you're using the Windows, Linux, and Mac OS, uh, you have to uh, watch the uh, upcoming videos uh, on next videos according to your OS. And we'll follow the next videos. I hope you learn something uh, from this video, and I hope you will uh, watch the next video. Uh, in order to uh, gain more knowledge about Docker and get started with this call for technology so for now thank you for all for watching for now bye